Hello everybody! In this tutorial I'll walk you through how to install and run DeepLiveCam, a real-time face injection system built with Python. It uses a single image to project a synthetic identity onto a live video feed. The software was released on uh, GitHub, a version control system that we're gonna use to clone the repository and download the full project and source code. We are gonna set up the Python version 3.10 with Anaconda. In a few, we are gonna download the software and uh, set up the first environment. So I'm downloading the Windows version. Don't worry about the 3.12 or whatever other version is gonna show at the time you watch this video, because uh, <clears throat> with the common prompt we are gonna install the right version in the in an isolated environment, so we can avoid the system conflicts or dependency clash. So after you finish install Anaconda, uh, you can, uh, well, Windows search for the Anaconda prompt. Next we are gonna input and create the new, uh, the new environment, we are gonna then uh, download the source code in. So as you see we can install the 3.10 version that is required to run the DeepLiveCam software. Uh, say yes and install everything, every package that uh, Anaconda needs to install. So now we can download the source code from the from the link. I will provide all the links in another uh, in another github so you can uh, copy and paste some of them if you want. You can download the software, extract it, uh, whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it in my download folder for now. So next step uh, we are gonna download the FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a command line tool for video and audio processing. Uh, mostly it's an awesome tool to convert and, out and handle video stream and encoding and decoding. We need the full version because it has uh, library x264, that is uh, a codec library that uh, handles uh, video formats, the most common ones like uh, H264. After downloading the um, FFmpeg, uh, you can extract the content, uh, create a new FFmpeg folder on your uh, main uh, drive, mine is C as, at the moment. Then you can uh, open the bin folder and uh, just move the files into the new FM FFmpeg folder. We can then modify the variable system, you can uh, Windows search it. And then we need to add the path to the system to point to the FFmpeg folder. You can create a new variable and just copy and paste the path. After FFmpeg we are gonna download the Visual Studio uh, runtimes for Windows. So you just follow the link, go to the Windows website and uh, download the build tools. Those are uh, system level C++ libraries uh, that uh, we need to compile and, and build some uh, Python packages. I'm not gonna go too in depth in the, in the technology used. After installing the visual tools uh, we can download the models. Those are um, uh, mostly face detection model or injection models uh, with uh, uh, they run uh, uh, in, for example, the the GFP GAN uh, runs on a generative advers adversarial network, a GAN. Uh, there is a class of machine learning frameworks. Uh, we can download the models into the models folder in the main project file. And then we are gonna uh, download the CUDA toolkit uh, for uh, hardware acceleration. So. Um, if we if we don't download the if we don't have a powerful uh, Nvidia graphic card, the the software is gonna run on the CPU, and of course uh, the real time is not gonna be possible. It's gonna run like a 
68 frames per second. While with uh, NVIDIA acceleration technologies, uh, the software can basically run real time on a, on a live stream, uh, probably around 25p, 25 FPS, something like that. Of course, it depends on how powerful your uh, graphic NVIDIA graphic card is. Uh, once we have installed the CUDA, I think it's time we can uh, um, activate uh, our environment. I, we can use this command to see which environment we have available. Then we can activate our uh, Deep Life Cam environment. We cd onto the path of the where we downloaded the project and then we need to install all the requirements for the project. Once the requirements are installed, uh, we need to, if we have installed the CUDA toolkit, we need to do this bit, so uninstall uh, one package a version and install a specific version because uh, probably there is some uh, specific dependency the current version of the software runs on. So we install the the current version with uh, with pip that is a python package installer and then we can uh, just uh, run the program if everything works correctly, it should uh, start right away. We specify the execution providers, it's uh, CUDA. So um, the, there is an issue, so we we need to install the PyGrabber. That is uh, a package probably not uh, comprised in the requirements. After we install the, the execution provider, everything should work perfectly. Congratulations! Yeah. Mm -hmm.